Okay, we're going to try to isolate some streptococcus. We're going to do a couple of different uh, techniques here. One is I will be doing a throat swab on myself and then streaking it on the blood auger plate. The other uh, technique is where we'll swab along the crevice between the teeth and the gum line, also still trying to isolate for streptococcus. And on that we will streak onto a Midas salivaris auger plate, that is the blue plate here. This is a selective media for streptococcus. There is a dye in it that does inhibit both gram uh, negative and most gram positive bacteria. And then we'll also, um, from the, or the teeth swab, gum swab, inoculate in a Todd Helic broth, which is an enrichment medium also for streptoc uh, streptococcus. So I'm using a sterile cotton-tipped applicator. Try to go to a back throat swab. And then swab this on the blood auger plate. Always working within the flame for the maintaining the sterile technique. For the second swab, be going along the gum line. Once again, swabbing on the plate. And lastly, I will be inoculating the Todd Helix broth. Once again, swabbing along the, the gum line. These will be incubated in a candle jar because Streptococcus uh, prefers a much lower oxygen concentration than atmospheric air. So we're going to put it into what we refer to as a candle jar for incubation. If you tried to incubate it in regular incubator without any additional supplement, um, it may grow, but on the petri dish it's going to be really, really tiny. So to try to encourage the growth, we will put it in the candle jar 